piccione, è un piccione, è un piccione. Hi folks, just here today to share with you about Jesus Christ today. In the Bible it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life and that Jesus Christ has come to give us eternal life that one day we'll die and enter eternity and when we enter eternity we will either be in heaven or in hell the Bible says the Ten Commandments do not lie how many times this week have you lied the Bible says that God will judge liars, but instead of God judging you, Jesus Christ died on your behalf. Jesus Christ shed his blood that you may live. Shed his blood that you may have life. He took the wrath and the punishment that you deserve. He died on your behalf, my friend. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life and if you want everlasting life if you want freedom if you want to be set free today and know the joy of the Lord and know the peace of God in your life then Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life he can set you free one day you go home after your holiday you've had your holiday you have a good time then you go home, but then, one day, you come on your deathbed, on your sick bed. Then what? What do you do then? Jesus Christ has come to save you and give you a hope and a future and a life. He's come to give you peace and joy and blessing. But you've got to trust in Him. You've got to believe in Him and have faith in Him. And if you have faith in Him, you will be saved. You will be born again. But if you reject him, you reject him, and then there is only hell. There is only heaven and a hell, my friends. Jesus warned about hell. Jesus said there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth, my friend. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Bible says there is a hell. And you and I need to know where we're going. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you on that cross. Christ died on that cross and took your punishment for you on that cross. He died on your behalf on that cross so that you may live. And is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. It's appointed unto men once to die, and then the judgment. One day, Chairman Mao will be judged by God. One day, Hitler will be judged by God. Every human being is going to be judged by God. That is a judgment day, my friends, a judgment day. And on that judgment day, God will judge. I can't judge you, but He will judge. For He is a righteous God and a holy God and a great God. But instead of God punishing you, Jesus died on your behalf. He died on your behalf that you may live. He gave His life that you may have life. He shed His blood that you may have life, my friend. He took the wrath that you deserve. He died on your behalf and took the wrath that you deserve so that you wouldn't have to go to hell. Now the Bible says, Thou shalt not lie. Have you lied? When was the last time you lied? How many times have you lied? And if you've lied, then God is going to judge you for your lies. Have you lied? How many times have you lied? Well, God will judge you for your lies. But God sent Jesus to die on your behalf. Have you got a question, sir? Any question? Any, any. Are you an atheist, sir? Are you a believer? Are you an atheist? Are you an atheist, sir? He died on your behalf that you may live. He died on your behalf that you may have life. Now there is no other way to be saved in heaven but by Jesus Christ. 
You cannot be saved by atheism. You cannot be saved by Buddha. You cannot be saved by any other prophet. The only person that can save you is Jesus Christ. The only person that can save you is Jesus Christ the Savior. Only Christ can save you. Only He can save you, my friend. But you've got to believe in Him. You've got to trust in Him. You've got to look to Him and have faith in Him. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He did not say, I am Waki Baki. I am marijuana. He didn't say, I am marijuana. He didn't say, marijuana can save you. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. Wacky backy, marijuana can't save you. Drugs can't save you. Sex can't save you. We have sex. We have sex in Amsterdam all over the place, but sex cannot save you. Sex will not save you, and sex will not get you into heaven. But Jesus will. Jesus is the one that died for you. Jesus is the one that gave his life for you. So, my friend, believe in him. No wacky backy, no marijuana, and no sex outside of marriage. But believe in Jesus Christ the Savior. Believe in Jesus Christ the Savior. Believe in Christ the Lord. Let him deliver you of your drugs. Let him deliver you of your sex addiction and your drug addiction. If there's anybody here on holiday to go to the dirty uh, red light district and have sex, if you're on holiday to do that, you need to repent and believe in Jesus and trust in him and be delivered from that and come to Jesus and believe in him. If you've come to Amsterdam to smoke marijuana, you need to repent and believe in Jesus and know that he can save you and know that he can set you free. He has come to give you life and power and joy, my friend. He's come to give you life, power and joy. He's come to give you life, power and joy, my friend. Jesus has come to set you free. He's come to give you hope and a future and life today and power today. There is power, power, oh wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, oh wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is joy, joy, oh wonder working joy in the blood of the Lamb. There is joy, joy, a wonder working joy in the blood of the Lamb. Come on now, off the wacky backy, off the marijuana. There is joy, joy, a wonder working joy in the blood of the Lamb. There is joy, joy, a wonder working joy in the blood of the Lamb. There is peace, peace, a wonder working peace in the blood of the Lamb. There is love, love, a wonder working love in the blood of the Lamb. Do you know this one? This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I ain't going to the red light district. No, 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 no. I ain't going to the red light district. No, 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 no. I ain't going to the red light district. No, 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 no. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I ain't gonna smoke marijuana. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna smoke marijuana. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna smoke marijuana. No, 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 no. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. 
There's still a lot of fire. I'm gonna let it shine. There's still a lot of fire. I'm gonna let it shine. There's still a lot of fire. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You don't need that wacky wacky. You don't need that marijuana. And you don't need to go to the red light district. No, no, no. What you need is Jesus. He can set you free. He can give you life. He can give you power. He can give you joy. And he can give you peace today. Jesus. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. My friends, Jesus said, Come unto me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, and he'll give you rest, my friend. If your mind needs peace, if your heart needs peace, he'll give you rest. He will give you rest, and he will show you his love and peace in your life. He will save you from the rough to come. He will save you from hell. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And He can save you today. And He can set you free today. And give you hope today. And peace today. His name is Jesus Christ the Lord. And He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Wacky Baki ain't the Lord. Marijuana ain't the Lord. Sex ain't the Lord. Drugs ain't the Lord. But Jesus is the Lord. And Jesus can save you today. Jesus can set you free today. He can set you free, my friend. He can give you new life, new power. He can give you new joy, new hope, and new, new strength today. Jesus can do that for you, my friend. He can help you to be born again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Born again by the power of God. The power of God can come into your heart. And the power of God can change you by the power of the Holy Spirit. One day, your holiday will finish. One day, you're going to die. And when you die, where will you go? Heaven or hell? Where are you going to go? The only way to be saved from hell is to know that Jesus died on that cross. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, the Prince of Glory, the Son of God, died on that cross and gave his life for you on that cross, that you may live. Shed his blood, that you may live. He died on that cross, that you may live. Did your politician die for you? Did your MP die for you? Did your prime minister die for you? Did your drug dealer die for you? No, but Jesus, he died for you on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. He said, I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep and he laid down his life for you jesus laid down his life for you on that cross he gave his life for you on that cross he shed his blood for you on that cross he laid his life down they whipped him they mocked him they spat at him they put a crown of thorns upon his head they laughed at him they whipped him they mocked him they humiliated him but he went to that cross and he died on that cross to save you from hell one day your holiday will finish and one day where will you go where will you go my friend where will you go when you die you will not just go to the dust you will die and come before god and say what should i do and he'll say did you believe in my son jesus and if you say yes you go to heaven if you say no you go to hell that's what the bible teaches there is a heaven and a hell
There is a story of a girl. She became a prostitute in Puerto Rico. This girl, she became a prostitute in Puerto Rico. She was a prostitute in Puerto Rico and her mom was broken hearted. Her mom was broken hearted and went to find her daughter in Puerto Rico. Well, the mother left pictures of herself all over Puerto Rico to find her daughter who was a prostitute. And she couldn't find her daughter, so she left the pictures of herself all over Puerto Rico. She come home. She come home. She come home. She come home. Her daughter was a prostitute. Her daughter came downstairs. Her daughter came downstairs and went into the toilet and she saw a picture of her mom. And she grabbed the picture of her mother. And she saw the picture of her mother. And she turned the picture around and it said, I don't care what you have done, come home. That's what Jesus says to you today. I don't care what you have done, come home. I loved you, I died for you, I give my life for you. I'm your savior, come home to me. I'm Jesus, I loved you, I died for you. Come home to me, come off the drugs, come off the pride, come off the gossip, come off the swearing, and come to me. I loved you and died for you on that cross. I loved you and died for you. Come to me, he says. And he says it in his word, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he will give you rest. He will give you peace. He will give you joy. He will give you comfort. He will give you strength. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. He died and rose again. And he conquered death. He conquered death. He conquered death. And if you want to conquer death, then go to Jesus. But don't die. Don't die and then go to hell. The Bible warns about hell. The Bible warns about hell. The Bible says there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Bible warns there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There is a wrath of God. There is a wrath of God, my friend. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There is a wrath of God. God says, do not lie, but do you lie? God says, do not steal, do you steal? God says, do not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? Do you look at a woman in lust, a man in lust? You're not to commit adultery, you're not to lie, you're not to steal. The Bible warns not to do these things and we break them every day. We break the commandments every day. And the Bible says we all fall short of the glory of God. We all fall short of the glory of God. All of us fall short of the glory of God. Every single one of us falls short of the glory of God. But my friend, he died to save you. He died to bring you home. He died to save you, my friend. He died to bring you home to heaven. That's why he died. He died to bring you home. And there is a home in heaven if you only believe in him. There is a home in heaven if only you would trust in him. But if you reject him, if you reject him, then you're going to be lost forever and ever. If you reject him. It says in the word of God, justified freely by his grace but justified freely by his grace
were justified freely by his grace. By the grace of Jesus Christ, by the grace of the Lord, he died on your behalf, but it's no other way that we can be saved. There's no other way that we can know God. We cannot know God by our own deeds, by what we do. We're all guilty before God, but God in his love and mercy sent Jesus to die for you on that cross, to bring you home. The Bible says, justified freely by his grace we're justified freely by his grace by the grace of Jesus by the grace of the Lord by his love by his grace by his mercy we're justified by the love of Christ who shed his blood we're justified before him not by what we have done but by Christ the Savior, Christ paid the price, Christ paid your debt, Christ shed his blood on that cross and paid his debt for you on that cross and died for you on that cross. So you don't need wacky wacky or marijuana. You don't need to go to the red light district. What you need is Jesus. What you need is a touch of Jesus. What you need is a touch of the Lord in your life, power of the Holy Ghost in your life. The power of Jesus in your life. Let God change you. Let God change you. By His power, by His love, by His joy. Off the wacky backy, off the marijuana, off the sleeping around. Don't go to the red light district, but go to the light of the world, Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. He is the one that loved you. He is the one that died for you. He is the one that cares for you. He loves you more than your boyfriend. He loves you more than your girlfriend. He loves you so much that he died on that cross for you and shed his blood for you on that cross to rescue you from hell. If you was dying of cancer and I had the cure, and I had a cure in my pocket and you was dying of cancer, would you want me to give you that cure? And if I didn't give you that cure, you'd be angry with me. But we have a spiritual cancer. We are dying because of sin, because of what we do wrong. And Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the cure. Jesus is the one that can save you. Uh, Jesus is the one that can help you, my friend, and save you from the wrath to come. Save you from hell, my friend. There is a hell coming. There is a wrath of God coming, my friend. God is a God of wrath, and wrath is coming, my friend. Jesus said, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There will be a judgment day. A wrath of God is coming. But Christ died to save you from the wrath to come. Christ loved you and died for you on that cross. Shed his blood for you on that cross. They whipped him. They put a crown of thorns upon his head. And there he hung on the cross for you. He died for you on that cross. He said, I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. He said, I give my life a ransom for many. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, let me ask you something. What is best? What is best? A night smoking marijuana? Which is better? Which is better? A night smoking marijuana or being with Jesus? Being with Jesus is better than marijuana. Being with Jesus is better than marijuana. You need Jesus. You need Jesus Christ in your life. Christ can set you free. Christ can give you life. Christ can give you power. Christ can give you joy. Christ the King. Christ the Lord. Amsterdam needs Christ. You need Christ in the red light district. You need Christ in your heart. You need to get the drugs and the prostitution out of Amsterdam and bring Christ into this place and Christ into your home and Christ into your life. Christ is King. Out with the drugs, out with the sex and come to Jesus. Jesus loved you. There's been a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine. There's been a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine. There's been a lot of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. 
I ain't gonna smoke marijuana. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna smoke marijuana. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna smoke marijuana. No, 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 no. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let him shine. Let him shine in your heart. Let him fill you with his love. Let him fill you with his joy. Let Jesus into your heart. Jesus loves you. Jesus shed his blood for you. Jesus gave his life for you on that cross. He loved you and he died for you on that cross and he wants you to know his love in your life. He wants you to know his peace in your life. He wants you to know his love in your life. Let Christ into your heart. Let Christ into your heart. God bless you guys, you all right? Yes. Where are you from, honey? Yes. God bless you. I'm from Africa. I'm from Manchester, you. Yeah. Let Christ into your heart. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead. And He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you on that cross. Jesus gave his life for you on that cross. Jesus shed his blood that you may live. Jesus loves you today. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones, he loves you true. Oh, he loves you, yes he does. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells you so. He loves you today. Gave his life for you on that cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He loved you and shed his blood for you on that cross. That you may live. That you may have life. That you may know his peace, that you may know his joy, that you may know his love. He shed his blood for you and died for you. That you may have life, that you may have love, that you may have joy and peace today by knowing the love of Christ. Jesus said you must be born again, born of the Holy Ghost, born of the Holy Spirit, born of the Holy Ghost. And know his power, know his joy and know his grace in your life. And you can be saved today. Let him in your life. Let Christ in your life. Let him in your life. And let him share his love in your life today. Let him fill you with peace and joy in your life today. Let Christ come into your heart. And let Christ fill you with his love today. Let him fill you with his power today. And let him fill you with his joy. But Jesus is alive today. God bless you. Jesus is alive and he wants you to know his love today. He wants you to know his peace and joy in your life today. So may God be with you today. May God bless your families today. May God shed his light upon you. And may he bless your home. May he bless your children. May he bless your family. May he bless you. He loved you and died for you, my friends. He gave his life that you may live. So trust him today. God bless you.